Hi, it's Nancy Gaberti, functional medicine specialist, nutritionist, and healthy lifestyle coach. And today I'm here to talk to you about sleep. So many people are sleep deprived these days. And I don't know if you know that when you are deprived of sleep, not only does that affect your mental alertness and your mood, but it also affects your weight management. You could actually gain weight because you're not getting the proper sleep. Sleep is so important for you to rejuvenate your body. So I wanted to give you some tips for trying yourself to see if you can make your environment a very healthy one where you can get deep sleep. Now, if you have a health condition and your hormones are very out of whack and they're imbalanced and your cortisol levels spike up in the afternoon, you know, your cortisol levels are supposed to be higher in the morning and as the day progresses, they go down. But what I see with individuals with sleep deprivation is it starts to rev up in the afternoon into the evening and those are individuals who say, you know, I gain all my energy in the end of the day and then I stay awake and then you know I either catch up on my work or my housework or I watch um, you know video a marathon of videos and Netflix so you want to try to break that pattern if it is a biomedical reason I would highly recommend that you get a functional medicine test to determine if your hormones are out of whack because then you could take homeopathic and nutraceuticals to address that and then help you sleep. If you can't lose the last five or ten pounds and you're struggling with weight, I would also recommend to do some testing to figure out where the imbalance is. Now, if it's more behavioral, um, and you can't just quiet your mind, perhaps. That could be adrenal fatigue and imbalance with your neurotransmitters. You could try a few things. So, you can try um, an amino acid of GABA. Now, obviously, if you're taking medication, you always want to ask your physician if there's any um, interaction. So you wanna calm down and nourish the adrenal system. Um, other ways to do that is you can go for teas. Um, you know, Yogi Tea has a lot of medicinal ones, and there's a stress relief ones with honey and lavender. Lots of times people just need to know how to breathe, and they need to just unwind from the stresses of the day and put together a to-do list of what they didn't accomplish or what they want to accomplish the next day. It's what we call a brain dump. So you're not waking up in the middle of the night saying, oh, I need to do this or I need to go there. Or, I need to call this person um, because then that doesn't let you relax. So there is a breathe deep tea that you can um, take along with while you're doing your breathing exercises. You really do need to find a way to unwind. Other areas that you can try are essential oils. So we have these stress-free roll-ons that you can do. Um, you could put them by your wrist, you could put them on your legs. You could also go for, um, if you're taking a bath, with um, Epsom salts as well as essential oils. You could put on lavender um, just to get you calm. And then you could also use lavender essential oils and make your own spray and spray your bedroom. Another thing that's really important is making sure you don't have any of your electrical devices out because blue lights from the electromagnetic fields can actually stimulate you and keep you awake. Um, as far as food, you don't want to eat a heavy meal two hours prior to going to bed, and you don't want to get stimulated by watching TV or checking Facebook or any social media um, because that will also stimulate you. Now, if you are low in melatonin, then if you have any lights on, even a night light in the bathroom, that can disrupt your melatonin. So some people will use um, these type of eye pillows to shut out the light, and sleeping with a TV is not a good idea. In addition, I would not keep your iPhone near you or whatever phone you use 
don't use that as an alarm clock because if someone texts you or you get a notification, you're going to wake up it's going to disturb your cycle of sleep. In addition, if you happen to wake up in the middle of the night, say to go to the bathroom, you may be tempted to check your social media. And there is an addiction to social media, so keep it out of the bedroom. And I'd love to hear which one of these sleep strategies works for you. So just put it in the Facebook comment and if you have any further questions, I will address them. And remember, your health is worth it because you are worth it. Bye now.